everybody, once again, I'm Richard Holder. Please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all this testing. Today we have a very cool subject. Everybody wants more low speed torque, right? Can you actually get low speed torque from a cam swap? Now we know we can get peak torque, we do that all the time. We can raise the peak torque number, we can raise the peak horsepower number, but can we get all of the gains that we see on the top can we shift that over and get giant torque gains on the bottom? The answer really is no, but wait, Richard, you have a video on your channel where you actually tested a torque cam. It's right there in the name. Yes, I tested the Ryan Tui Racing Torque Cam, and it does indeed, like all the others, increase the peak torque number. It also increased the peak horsepower number, but can we get all that low speed torque? There's only one way to find out. I'm gonna dive into all of my testing Take a look and see how much torque we actually gained down low with the camshaft. Let's check it out. Hey guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. But what happens if you have a question? Hey, I saw this video, but I wanted to ask Richard a question. Well, you're in luck. You get to do that. Join us nightly, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time on the live feed. You can come on, join the group. If I don't have an answer to your question, chances are there are lots of bright guys. They might have an answer. So if you've got a question about any of the video that you just saw, or maybe you're working on a project, Join us live, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, on this channel. Okay guys, let's jump right in and I can show you the myth of torque cams. And actually, I'm just showing you why it's very, very difficult. Or in all the testing that I've done, I've never seen a camshaft that actually has big torque gains in the 2,000, 2,500, or 3,000 RPM range. We do see a lot on the peak, and we do see a lot of big, like, horsepower gains on the top. In fact, with a camshaft on an LS, it's not uncommon if we run a stock one and then run a pretty good sized cam to get 50, 75, even 100 horsepower from a single cam swap on an LS application. But the question always is, and here's the comment that I get, yeah, that's great, but we don't want to rev our motor to 6,500 or 7,000 RPM. We want all of our torque down low. And what I'm here to tell you is you're not going to get that from a cam. And I'm going to show you <laughs> five or ten different cams of varying degrees of duration and size from stock all the way up to very mild ones and even bigger ones and while all of these did indeed improve the peak torque the stuff that they did down at 2000 2500 and 3000 rpm there just isn't big power gains there so let's jump right in we'll take a look at our stock 5.3 this is your typical thing this one was from a wrecking yard we had the stock truck intake manifold and throttle body it did have long tube headers on it we ran it with a holly we optimized the tune yada 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 you guys know the drill but run with the stock cam this thing produced 353 horsepower and 384 foot pounds of torque and pay, pay close attention to the torque number at, at 3,000 RPM, because honestly, we were not too concerned about what the peak horsepower is, but at 3,000 RPM, this thing produced 358 foot-pounds of torque. So if we overlay one of these cams, like I ran a bunch of small cams back in the day, and this one was even a weird one. And the reason that I did this is because when we were testing all these cams, I thought, you know, let's t let's test a dual pattern cam or, or rather a reverse split dual pattern cam where the exhaust is smaller than the, than the intake and it didn't work out very well. What you would normally see on a single pattern and even sometimes on a reverse split cam is we gain more low speed torque and sacrifice top end power. This thing did not make very good top end power. I mean, it made more than the stock cam, made 374 horsepower. As we have come to expect, peak torque was also up 395 foot pounds, but made it at a higher engine speed. And we even saw a little bit of a gain here from 2,500 to 3,000 RPM or so, but Here's what happened when we put the proper kind of dual pattern camshaft on it. This one had uh, a little bit more. It, had, it was a 210 uh, degree duration split. But you can see, I mean, it made over 400 horsepower. It made 412. Peak torque, once again, was up to 406 foot-pounds. But again, at a higher engine speed, whereas the stock one made peak torque at 4,400, now we've pushed it up to 46 and 4,700 RPM. So as we're making more torque, we're also pushing the engine speed where we're making this peak torque at. And you can see down low, I'm going to show you these one at a time. We saw the reverse split cam, maybe a little bit better in one range, and then kind of even with the stock cam. Well, this 210 cam was better than the stock cam from 2,900 RPM all the way out. 
You can see though that it did dip down below 2900 RPM. It actually lost low speed torque compared to the stock cam and compared to the reverse split cam. That's very important. That's what we're talking about. It's not the gains in torque down there because we're, we're looking at a, a four or five, six foot pounds of torque. At 3000 RPM, our stock cam had uh, 358 foot pounds. The reverse split had 368 foot pounds, so better. And the, the 210 cam had 371 foot pounds. You could see we've only changed that by, you know, <laughs> nine or 10 foot pounds of torque, which is the biggest amount I've seen in any of this cam testing. Um, I'll show you one more cam. We're going to get rid of these two. I'll show you one more cam where we, in, again, indeed improved the peak torque. This one picked up torque a lot, 412 foot pounds of torque, lots of power, 442 horsepower, was a little bit better than the stock cam between 3000 and 3500. But look, below 2900 RPM, lost a lot of torque. This was a 224 cam, the 224-232 cam. This is why I normally don't recommend this camshaft for anybody unless they want to run, you know, unless they're concerned about power production from 45 to 6500 RPM. This thing would not drive as well. It, the idle quality would not be nearly as good. It would definitely require a converter, which is the answer to this question. So if you want to if you want to put a camshaft in where you gain low speed power, the answer is not to try to find a camshaft that doesn't exist because you're never going to get 50 or 60 foot pounds of torque down low, certainly not at 2000 or 2500 RPM from any camshaft. Any camshaft ever made, you will not get those kinds of torque gains down at that engine speed. It it, it isn't possible and that's the problem. A lot of guys want the big gain shifted down low from a camshaft, but that's just not possible. The way that you get it is to change the gearing or change the stall speed on the converter. Let's check out some more. Okay, guys, we've taken a look at the Brian Fleet Racing Torque Cam and lots of the stock cams and some mild crane aftermarket cams and stuff, and we're, we're coming to really the same conclusion here. If you're looking for big torque gains, 2,000, 2,500, even 3,000 RPM, it's hard to get with a camshaft. And I'll further illustrate this with what I think is a really good, you know, torque cam. That's a Brian Tooley Racing uh, Truck Norris cam. And it, and it offers good, good gains. I mean, we've tested this thing many, many times. We've run it with boost. We've done all that stuff. And this is usually the cam, this kind of thing. Texas Speed has their Chapacabra. And I recently did a video so you guys can check it out where we compared this cam and the Chapacabra. And then the cam motion and the summit racing one, all similar kinds of things. And not surprisingly, they produce similar kinds of power numbers. But again, <laughs> they all have one thing in common. The Trek Norris cam certainly picked up peak power, which we expect 365 to 424. So big power gains. Picked up peak torque from 389 foot pounds of torque up to 415 foot pounds of torque. So again, you know, big power gains, big peak torque gains. And this thing offered more torque from 3000 RPM all the way out, much better than the stock combination. But if we look below that where everybody wants to look, and I've run lots of these motors down at 2000 RPM where people want them to. These motors typically a stock 5.3 usually makes 339, 340 foot pounds of torque at 2000 RPM. And the most, the biggest gain that I've ever seen is like, five or six foot pounds at 2000 RPM from any kind of cam change. And honestly, I'm not even certain that those were identical uh, air fuels and timing and because they're different motors. So different air fuel, they could be different air fuel and timing and temperature would be a really big thing down low. In fact, that's an important point. These things are optimized for power production in all of this RPM range. The reality is that when you run these in your vehicle, you're not going to be able to run the kind of timing that we ran here. You're not running this temperature. If you just lowered the temperature of your truck motor, you would get bigger gains <laughs> down at 2,000 and 2,500 and 3,000 RPM than any camshaft will give you. So if you went from 200 degrees and lowered your water temperature down to 130 or 140 degrees, you probably would get 10 or 15 foot pounds of torque. And you're just not going to get that with any of the cam timing. So the moral of this story is, and we take a look at this, the truck north cam did very well, but not below 3000 RPM. So the moral of this story is, yes, these cams can give you good horsepower gains. They can give you good peak torque gains. They can even give you maybe some 3500, 4000, 4500 in that kind of range, which is still, I kind of figure in the towing range, but 2000, 2500, 3000, 
you're not going to get big torque gains from any camshaft. And yes, that includes the VVT cams. The VVT stuff can help you a little bit, but even those, there's no VVT cam, there's no magic valve vents, there's nothing that's going to take a motor from 340 or 45 foot pounds of torque at 2000 RPM to 360 or 70 or 80 foot pounds of torque. It just can't happen. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And if you want torque down there, get a converter.